Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. I make videos about home ownership, houseplants, and honest living. Today I have with me my 10 month old miniature schnauzer puppy. His name is Cole. I think the last time I made a video about him, it was last year in December. So I figured it was about time for an update before he turned one years old. So let's get into it. So if you've never had a miniature schnauzer before and you're interested on the breed, I already have a video that I will link down below just to tell you everything there is to know about having a miniature schnauzer. But overall, they are very smart and intelligent family dogs. I will say that the only downside you may need to worry about is that they are very vocal dogs, meaning that they bark a lot. They don't howl as much as Huskies do, but they do bark. So that is something to consider. But overall, I have had, this is my fourth miniature schnauzer that I've had and I absolutely love them. Them, they are the only dogs that I have ever had. So this is Cole. We got him last November in 2022. His birthday is August 15th of 2022. So he is about to turn one years old. Like I said, I did a pup date last year when he was when we only had him for about two weeks or so and so much has changed since then. So let's just get into how Cole has changed. So first of all, I will say that when we got him, of course, you know, puppies go through a teething stage where they're chewing on everything. I will say that Cole has moved out of that. He is still a little mouthy. You can see right now he is chewing on my fingers, but it's not like a gnawing sense. He's just a little mouthy um, and it doesn't really hurt and we can correct him. So let's talk about, first of all, his temperament right now. So like I said, he is 10 months old. He is kind of going through puberty right now. So he is starting to First of all, mark his territory. He is, when we are outside walking, he's always lifting his leg, even if nothing's coming out, he's always lifting his leg, he's always sniffing, and that is something that has happened in the last few months or so. Also, because he is a male schnauzer, male schnauzers tend to be more aggressive, so he does tend to bark um, at other people as well as other dogs, um, and that is just something we have to be aware of. We do not take our dogs to the dog park. That's just too much, too many variables. I just don't like to take our dogs to the dog park or my dog to the dog park um, because he does get a little loud and aggressive and he barks a lot. He's not going to attack anyone or you know actually bite anyone, but he does bark a lot and I really don't want to put him in that situation to stress him out or stress anybody else out. But like I said, he does bark at things he's maybe not used to when we are walking and he may see someone across the street. He does like to bark at them, but I can easily call his attention away and just train him to just leave it alone. I tell him, no, no, come on, let's go, let's go. And he'll usually just stop after a while. The next thing about his temperament is that he definitely is going through his adolescence phase. His adolescence will probably last until he's about one years old to 18 months. And there are definitely days where I just want to kill him almost, but he does bark a lot. He's very rambunctious. He's very rowdy. He's very mouthy when he's going through these days. And some days he's just so lovable and so quiet and just so nice. And some days I'm just like, what is wrong with you? Like. <laughs> promise you it is very normal sometimes to get frustrated at your dogs but you just have to remember that when they're going through this adolescent phase that they really just can't control it as far as diet goes we do cook cole's food um he eats once a day and we give him a mixture of ground chicken and vegetables like peas and carrots or sweet potatoes. Um, it doesn't have any real seasoning in it um, at all, just because dogs really can't have seasoning. And like I said, we feed him once a day. If we are out of that for some reason, we do have dry dog food on standby, and we do mix it with a little bit of water just to make it easier for him to eat. Obviously, we give him um, as much water as he needs. We also like to enrich him with different treats. We'll give him chews to help his teeth. We'll give him things that maybe take him a little bit longer to get through, like a rawhide or something like that. Um, when it comes to rawhides, you do want to make sure that you are making sure it does break down. Some rawhides, although you see those big, huge bones, they really don't break down inside of a dog's digestive tract. You want to make sure that you're getting something that is really safe and healthy for dogs. 
So let's talk about Cole's sleep. So obviously, since he is going through his adolescence phase, some nights are better than others. Some nights he does bark, but typically we put him into his cage. It is a medium sized just crate that we got from Petco. We do cover it um, completely with a blanket so it is dark. And we also put the TV on for him just to make sure we have some noise to drown out all of the little bits and bobs that happen during the night. Um, we do like to put on Disney Channel. We put on specifically Bear in the Big Blue House. I know you guys remember that show. We always put that on for him. Um, and he tends to uh, fall asleep and sleep through the night. We also make sure we are still giving him two naps during the day just because he does need it. He is still a puppy, especially if he's been outside a lot, um, if he's been running around a lot. So speaking of running around, let's just talk about his typical exercise. So Cole does not really need any type of monitoring when he goes outside. We typically put him outside um, every few hours or so, so he can pee um, and use the bathroom. And then he is really fine just sitting outside. Of course he does bark. So he does bark at people, you know, under the fence and things like that. But we do put him outside for quite a while just to give him some time to be out. We also take him on a very long walk. Probably once a week, we'll take him on an about 45 minute walk. Now I know there are gonna be people in the comments that say, oh, you're supposed to be walking your dog five times a day and they're not supposed to be cooped up or anything like that. I understand, I get that. But like many of people, I have a job. My partner has a job. We have to go to work and we are not going to pay a dog walker to come and walk our dog. We just make sure that he does get enough exercise and he is outside. When I'm home, just like I said, before I started recording this video, he was outside running around. We also wanna make sure that um, besides exercise, like physical exercise, we are exercising his mind. So we do like to roll treats into a towel. We give him a little lick mat or we give him a snuff mat and put treats into that so we can use his brain and tire himself out. When dogs do a lot of sniffing, and things like that. That is also really helpful to tire them out and just get those brain muscles work. I also make sure I switch up the variety of places that I take him. While it is nice to just walk him around the neighborhood, I do take him to the park. I take him on trails. Um, I take him to different neighborhoods. I just like to take him all over, even to the park, just so he has a little bit of difference of scenery and things like that. And it is fun just to find new places around our city to take him so he can walk. The next thing um, that we have taught Cole is obviously um, some training. We wanna make sure that he's just not balls to the wall, acting crazy or anything like that. We have taught him to sit and we do, we, we taught him to sit in like 10 minutes or so, but we do reinforce that when we give him his food, before we go outside, before we go on a walk, we definitely like to tell him to sit. Um, a lot of times we will tell him uh, he learns how to get off. Say if I want him off the sofa, he knows when to get off. He also knows where he is allowed and where he isn't allowed. For example, we have some rooms that he is not allowed in and though he does, he is a little mischievous and he does like to run in there and grab laundry and things like that. He knows he's not supposed to be in there. He definitely has a little guilty run. When he goes in there, he knows he's not supposed to be in there. I also wanted to talk about if Cole is neutered. Right now he is not neutered, but that is something that we are looking into. Um, it is not a necessity where we live, but there are some cheaper options. If you are specifically, if you are specifically looking to neuter your dog, there are some cheaper options out there than paying to go to a vet clinic or something like that that is can really be um, like hundreds of dollars. We found a place um, that does spaying and neutering uh, for any dog for just $75, which is a really great steal. So speaking of the vet, uh, we do not take him to an actual veterinary hospital or anything like that. We take him to Petco. If you don't know the company Petco, bless you. If you don't know the company Petco has a vet inside of the store uh, called Vet and you can get all of their rabies shots, their Bordetella shots, or any type of shots they may need. Um, it is very easy uh, and simple. You just make an appointment, you go in, it's in the middle of the store, and then you walk right out. Um, as far as grooming goes, we also groom him at home to save money. If you do not know, schnauzers do not shed, so their hair can grow and grow and grow. Um, so we give him baths, we uh, clip his fingernails. We also brush his teeth and groom his hair down. Now, obviously I am not a professional in any way, so I'm just doing the best that I can. Schnauzers do typically have a schnauzer cut, which means that they have a very long beard. They have eyebrows as well as a skirt or long hair at the bottom. Um, that is not something that we try to keep. Um, it's really, really hot in Louisiana right now. So we do just shave him completely down. He's also black. So he does attract a lot of heat and he does get 
um, very overheated very quickly. So we do just shave him all down in one blade. I try to make it look as good as possible. Obviously he is still young, so he does hate, you know, getting a haircut. He does hate having a bath and getting his nails clipped. But I do think that it's important to do it more often than not. Um, even if you maybe don't think they need their nails clips, just try because the longer you go without trimming their nails, they're really gonna hate it. Most dogs do not like having their paws touched. So you really just wanna try to reinforce it. I try to at least pretend or try to clip his nails at least once a week. And I try to give him a bath every two weeks or so just so he can get used to it. So with that, I think that is all of the information I have to share about Cole and his update. If you have any questions about having a miniature schnauzer or maybe if you have a miniature schnauzer at your home, please tell me what their names are and how old they are. I love hearing about other people's dogs. But with that, that does it for today's video. I post new videos every single Wednesday. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. And if you didn't, leave a comment and tell me why. Remember, I'm a small channel, so it really helps when you subscribe when you share my videos and when you give them a thumbs up that definitely helps YouTube know to push out my videos to other people that would enjoy them so I will see you guys next week bye you want to say bye Cole say bye bye <laughs>